Nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makajos at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Soros Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria Ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga Viva ba? Please all kneel for the Angelus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Um, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the world was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us all pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, grace thy grace into, into our hearts, Lord, Lord to each whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ thy Son, was made known by the, the message of an angel. angel. May, may by his passion and cross be brought to his glory and resurrection. To the same Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All together, please. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, and to the, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever be shall forever. be, world Amen. without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us include in our prayers the healing and good health of Ramon, Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Father Joseph Javilio, SSP, Father Armand Tangi, SSP, Father Pete Barisoro, SSP, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP, Manahan Peruel, Louis and Lourdes Clem, Patrice and Cese Letlet Salcedo. Special intentions of for the birthday thanksgiving of Father Chris Celan, SSP, Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Peruel de la Peña, Santolcides Alegre families, Alaysa Dambana contributors, Marisa Abowitis, Peli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Okodaira, Jello and Elaine, Paolo, Marlo, Orlando, Ging Flora, Patricia Ann Espulgar, Maria Jeneline, Maria Jeneline Peralta, Chua, Lau, Uy, Nang, Yu, Onlacto, Ong Latko families, FAC group of companies, Mary Ann Concepcion, and Maria Ruth Santos Season. Let us pray for the eternal repose of the following souls. Carmelita Guzman, Lutgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Raul Jr. and Corazon, Brother Dominic Ejida, SSP, Carlos Beher, Rogelio Beher, Anthony Dullier, Marie Michiko Yuda, Thelma Dison, Edna Flores and Winston Flora, Lolita Baya, Jose Morales, Sara Morales, John Lorenz Dagongdong, Ngo Ang Si, Cristina Agas, Apolonio Tahup Sr., Honorato Agas Sr., Amanda Tahup, Mariano Baron, Willie Baron, Cynthia Baron, Luz Baron, Angel May Baron, Dorotea Rocha, Christine Marie Buen Camino, Augusto Concepcion, Dennis Joseph Concepcion, and Rosalinda Concepcion, and all the souls in purgatory. Today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. Magandang umaga, mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Iaalay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang mass presider ay si Reverend Father James Beher ng Society of St. Paul. Tayo po ay tumayo, makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Hingkil mo na wat ang gabi Ang aming mga mananampitan, libutin aming pagsuway, binisin aming kasamaan, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po, Father James. Ngayon po ay ipinagdidiriwang natin ang ikalimang linggo ng Kwarisma. At uh, sa ibang hilyo natin ngayon, uh, ipinapakita sa atin ni San Juan Bautista, or rather San Juan Evangelista, tungkol sa kwento ng mga Grego na lumapit kay Pilipe upang hilingin na makita nila si Jesus. We would like to see Jesus. These words spoken by some Greeks to Philip express the goal of land and of Christian living. Jesus responds to this desire by speaking of his hour of glory, referring to his death and resurrection. He uses two images, the grain of wheat that falls to the ground and dies to produce much fruit and is being lifted up or being crucified and exalted at the same time. Jesus' glory is revealed not only in the resurrection but also in the very act of dying. So today, as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us gather all our intentions together and lift them up to the power of Jesus. Now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
Kristo, kawaan mo kami. Kristo, kawaan mo kami. Panginoon, kawaan mo kami. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord, our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A, re a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand, to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory. 
whoever serves me must follow me, says the Lord. And where I am, there will so me and my servant be. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feasts came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, Glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. <clears throat> the crowd there heard it and said it was thunder. But others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. Sisters and brothers, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga pong muli sa inyong mga kapatid. Sa Ibanghilyo natin ngayon, narinig natin ang tungkol sa isang yugto na naganap noong huling mga yugto ng pangpublikong ministeryo ni Jesus. Isinalaysay ni Juan ng ilang mga Griego na pumunta sa Jerusalem upang magsamba sa panahon ng Paskwa ay lumapit kay Filipe na may kahilingan. Ginoo, gusto naming makita si Jesus. Alam niyo si Sina Pilipe at Andres ay mga taga Bitsaida, isang lugar kung saan nakatira ang maraming mga taong nagsasalita ng lingwahi ng mga Griego. 
Kaya naintindihan nila ang wikang Grego. Pagkatapos sabihin kay Andres ni Pilipe ang kahilingan ng mga Grego, nagsama silang dalawa upang ito'y sabihin kay Jesus. Gusto naming makita si Jesus. Ito ay isang dakilang hangarin. Isang marangal na hangarin. At ganyan ang hangarin natin sa panahong ito na naway makita natin si Jesus. Naalaala ko tuloy si Cardinal Rosales, isang bes ay nagbisita sa aming community doon sa Makati. At at lunchtime, ang ulam ay patatin. At nung makita ni Cardinal, sabi niya, Oh, ito ang ulam nyo? Gusto na ninyong makita si Jesus? Ang ibig sabihin, ito ay isang nagpapabatang ulam. Gusto mo na bang makita si Jesus? Marahil, napaisip tayo sa tugon ni Jesus kay Pilipe at Andres. Sapagkat sinabi niya, dumating na ang oras para sa kaluwalhatian ng anak ng tao. Amen, amen, sinasabi ko sa inyo, maliban kung ang isang butil ng trigo ay mahulog sa lupa at mamatay, ito ay mananatiling isang butil lamang ng trigo. Ngunit kung ito ay mamatay, ito ay magbubunga ng marami. Palagay ko, bago natin pag-isipan at pagnilayan ang tugon ng ating Panginoon, maganda yata kung bigyan muna natin ng maikling background na maaaring makatulong sa atin na maunawaan kung sino ang mga Grego na ito, kung bakit nila gusto makita si Jesus, at kung bakit ang kanilang pagbisita ay nakapukaw ng gayong tugon mula sa ating Panginoon. Alam natin na sa buong ministeryo ni Jesus, maraming tao ang dumarating upang makita siya na may iba't ibang mga dahilan o layunin. Tungkol sa mga Grego na gusto makita si Jesus, walang binanggit si Juan kung ano ang dahilan o bakit gusto nilang makita si Jesus. Ngunit mula sa kanyang kwento pagkatapos ng matagumpay na pagpasok ni Jesus, sa bayan ng Jerusalem para sa Paskwa at bago ang hula ni Jesus tungkol sa kanyang kamatayan, maaaring narinig, maaari nating ipagpalagay na ang kanilang pagbisita ay may kinalaman sa kanilang paghahangad o paghahanap ng katotohanan at paniniwala sa Diyos. Alam natin ang mga sinaunang Griego, the ancient Greeks, ay naniniwala sa maraming Diyos at Diyosa. Kaya ang mga Griego na dumating upang makita si Jesus ay malamang na mga Prusilites. Isang salita na nangangahulugang mga taong mga tao na lumalapit. Malapit sila sa Diyos. Binigyan din sila ng pangalang mga taong may takot sa Diyos. Sinasabi lang sa atin ni Juan na gusto nilang makita si Jesus. Ngunit, ang mga salita ni Juan ay tila may 
mas malalim na kahulugan kaysa pag-uusisa lamang. Sa lahat ng posibilidad, gusto nilang makita si Jesus upang magtanong kung maaari rin silang maging mga alagad niya. Kung maaari, alam nila ang tungkol sa napipintong hatol na kamatayan kay Isus. At gusto nilang makita si Isus upang mag-alok ng tulong upang maiwasan ang gayong kakilakilabot na trahedya. Ngunit alam natin na si Jesus ay very resolute and very much determined na tuparin ang kanyang misyon. Sabi niya sa simula ng kanyang pag-akyat sa Jerusalem, I am going up to Jerusalem to fulfill my mission. Ito ang maaaring makapagpapaliwanag sa tugon ni Jesus na tila napakahirap nating intindihin at pati na yata sa mga Grego hindi nila maintindihan kung bakit ganun ang tugon ni Jesus. Si Jesus ay hindi lamang tumutugon sa mga taga-Grego, ngunit siya ay tumutugon sa sino mang magiging kanyang mga alagad. Ang tugon ni Jesus ay para sa atin din. Kaya binigyan niya tayo at sila ng limang mahalagang aral. Una sa lahat, Sinabi niya, unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it will remain just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Even the Palestinian farmers would know that Jesus is speaking about dying. By itself, a grain of wheat remains a single grain. But if it dies and it drops itself into the ground, nature allows it to multiply. Out of that comes life. One grain of wheat can produce bountiful harvest. Jesus used the seed analogy to describe his own impending death and his resurrection. He too must die to give new life to others. My brothers and sisters, these remaining days of Lent, let us seriously practice acts of self-denial through fasting, abstinence, almsgiving, sacrifices, and acts of penance. This will surely help us practice dying, dying to ourselves, saying no to our vices, for example, saying no to our comfortable and pampered lifestyle, saying no to the selfish search for worldly gain could be tantamount to dying. These are ways for us to practice dying just like what Jesus is telling us. Jesus further says, the one who loves his life will lose it, but the one who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Jesus is not speaking about physical death, but dying to oneself, dying like a seed in order to sprout or rise and bear much fruit. That is, as St. Paul says, one has to put to death one's human nature with all its passions and desires. 
You find that in Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. But St. Francis of Assisi says it beautifully. He says, It is in giving that we receive. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Further, Jesus stated, Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whatever, whoever serves me. Jesus wants us, his followers, to know that we choose to serve him, then we should be willing to imitate his example, to die to ourselves, to hate our life, not in the literal sense, but in the sense of loving Jesus and his teachings even more than what we, uh, what we ourselves want and desiring or choosing Him over everything and anything else. As a reward, every true servant would be in the place where Jesus is, that is, heaven, and ultimately be honored by the Father in heaven. Jesus further said, describing Himself, how sad it is and how difficult it is. He said, I am troubled now. Yet, what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Despite his willingness, Jesus is deeply troubled by his approaching death. This word speaks to his full humanity. It is not natural for a human being to want to suffer and die. However, he resolves to move forward in accomplishing his purpose, his mission, and through it to glorify the Father's name. Then there came a voice from heaven, assured at his baptism and during his transfiguration, that says articulately, I have glorified it. I have glorified it. I think this refers to Jesus' incarnation, to Jesus' ministry, to Jesus' obedience, and to his miracles. But the Father says, I will glorify it again. And I'm sure that this refers to the Father supporting him and carrying his uh, suffering and death, then raising him up from the dead and ultimately seating him at his own right hand. And lastly, Jesus said, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. Jesus is telling us that his death on the cross will have an outstanding saving effect. It does not mean that Jesus would draw all individuals to himself, but rather his death on the cross will save all sinners without bias to their ethnic distinction. Thus, Jesus makes it clear that he came not only for the Jews, but also for the Gentiles, including Greeks, including all of us who always want to see him. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, what are the messages that these readings wants to inculcate to all of us today. I think, number one, God wants us to know Him well. To know Him well and personally. To know Him deeply. To know Him truly as He is revealed in His Son, Jesus Christ. 
Let us therefore, like the Greeks at the Passover, seek Jesus with a desire for intimacy and personal relationship with him. Like Philip and Andrew, we are all disciples of Jesus. We should know better Jesus. And knowing Jesus, let us help leading others to reach him. Number three, Jesus submitted himself to an undeserved death so that we could be saved. We must die to ourselves in order to bear fruit. Only by spending our lives for the love of others do we save it. Only when we lose or give or spend life and die to our selfish and selfish desires, our life will become fruitful. Fourthly, being human. The thought of the cross deeply troubled and distressed Jesus. So are we. Yet, Jesus surrendered himself to the will of the Heavenly Father and prayed, Father, glorify your name. And for us, for all our struggles and trials and difficulties, this is what it means by dying. Like Jesus, he was troubled facing death. We are also troubled with so many things that comes along our way. But let us have that ultimate goal that Jesus had to glorify our Heavenly Father. I hope we too can approach our God, the Father, with troubled hearts and can find strength to say these words, Father, glorify your name. Amen. Let us now rise to profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today is Sunday. Sunday is the Lord's Day. We adore Jesus, the risen Lord, our only Master, our way, our truth in our life. In Him, through Him, and with Him, we glorify, thank, and petition the Blessed Trinity. We pray, Jesus, Master, we trust in You. Jesus, Master, we trust in You. Jesus, you are the Word incarnate sent by the Father to, to instruct us in life-giving truths. May the Pope, the bishops, priests, teachers, preachers, and formators in the Church always submit their hearts and minds to a gift of faith and reason. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust, trust in you. you. Jesus, you are the beloved of the Father, the sole way to Him. May Christian families, fathers, mothers, children, take you always as their model to follow in the various periods and events of life. May everyone grow in faith, in hope, and in charity. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, we, we trust in you. Jesus, your earthly life is the example of highest perfection. May our church servant leaders, Eucharistic ministers, lectors, 
music ministers, other liturgical ministers, and all leaders and members of various parish organizations. Follow your footstep of humble self-giving and service, expecting nothing but your eternal rewards. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we, we trust, trust in you. Jesus, you came to give abundant life by your death and resurrection. May all the leaders and members of our basic ecclesia communities, nourished by baptism, the Eucharist, and other sacraments, grow in love for you and for one another with their whole mind, strength, and heart. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Master, we, we trust, trust in you. Jesus, the angels sang the reason for your incarnation. Glory to God and peace to all people. May persons in the work of media of social communications, health frontliners, and other service frontliners be filled with seal to improve human life against the threat of error, illness, epidemic, and violence. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we, we trust, trust in you. Jesus, you always had compassion for the sick, the disadvantaged, and persons in the margins. Answer the needs of the poor, the sick, the refugees, and the homeless, and kindle person in the social work, in government service, and in church charities to act on behalf of these members of the flock. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust in you. In silence, let us pray for our personal and community needs. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Master, we, we trust in you. Eternal Father, sanctify your church gathered in Sunday worship. Look after our material and spiritual needs. Fill us again with the gift of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, our Master, forever and ever. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true men, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in or in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, with all bishops and clergy. We lift up to you today the thanksgivings of Brenda Season Reyes, 
and Father Chris Celian as they celebrate their birthdays. And we ask, O oh Father, that you touch with healing all the sick members of our community, including Eliasar Manubag, Mon Velasquez, Jocelyn Barwell, Celi Bernabe, Rory Martin, Aimee Magpocro, Willie and Brenda Reyes, Virna Din Salvador, Kai Kichit, Roby Kino, and Ramon Bobby Kalikdan, Matet Papa Lincoln, Jonathan Hernandez, Tess Labadan, and Charina Nidwasa, Charles and Rowena Iriga, Sustain with help Jess Figueroa, Jack Sales, Maximino De Sena, Rene Portillo, Perla Saldejeno, Esmelita Salcedo, et Atina Marie Montes, Michael Heneta, Ed Adonis, Julio Carlos Rojas Lara, Baby Rojas, Dong and Joy Lara, Audi Quintana, Reggie Reyes, Arlette Mendoza, Mariflor Ebio, Nancy T. and Faustino Diaz. Uh, remember um, your servants, um, Brother Dominic Hida and Brother Jovan Lagdaman, um, and the priests, brothers, sisters, and lay members of the Pauline family, whom you have called from this world to yourself, where the day were united with your son in a death like his, in baptism, religious profession, and priestly ordination, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially um, Rogelio and Carlos Pilardo Bijer, John Lawrence Davundong, Elinda Panesales Yanson, Andrea Tivera, Evelyn Reyes, Joel Ansanas, Virginia Tian Singh, uh, Narcisa Yabugo, sis members of the Uyanong Choco families, Genicio and uh, Julie Ong, Carmelita Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Manuel Recto, Anita Aban, Elvira Marshall and Noel Tuason, Lourdes Lado Figueres, Camilo Laro Reyes, Ricky Villa Reyes, Ben Reyes, Amor Valvon, uh, Teodora Tiongson Ding Lasson, Ernesto Tani Tan, the deceased members of Natamisan, Tawakolde, Tanalgo, Barbasa, Taasan, Mohal Dimson, Monteleja families, uh, Medina Tapang, Rosalina Marquez, Jumedis Taniesa, Pacifica Salcedo, Doris Bautista, Melissa Medina, Luis Hernandez, and Espiritu Santos Valesita. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them and the holy souls in purgatory into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Peter, Paul, James, John, and the Blessed Apostles, with uh, Patrick. Lorenzo Ruiz, Pedro Calungsud, Blessed James Alperione, Blessed Timothy Jacardo, Blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Oh. 
at the Savior's command and formed by the divine teachings, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you.
Sisters and brothers, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, our Divine Master, the way, the truth, and the life, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Pag-ibig ng Diyos ng habag, ang anak na sa krus, ipinatong ngayag, ang awa niya'y walang hanggan. Pawinan yung kasananan, sang pusong tapat ang sa tibikain, Bigyan mo ng badong damdamin, Espiritu mo ang papagahin. Makasala na'y palakitin. Hanggang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na nabag, Ang anak na sa krus, ipinatong ayat, ang awan ay walang hanggang. Pawin ang inasananan, halina kanyo at magbalik ko sa mapag. Katawad na ating Diyos, magsisi tayo at manikuhod ng may abot sa kungso. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na habak, ang anak na sa krus ipinakong hayat, ang hawan ay walang hanggang. Pawin namin kasalanan, ako ay linisip sa sana ay bukasan, Nang ako'y tumingkad ang lubusan, kasamaan ko ay limutin ganap, nang muling maguspos ng galap. Tandaan 
Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na haba, ang anak na sa krus ipinakong hayat, ang awa niya'y walang hanggan. Pahit namin ka sa nana, matawad ang iyong Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people, who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive, by your generous gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Pagkakaroon po tayo ng second collection para sa alay kapwa. Proceeds will be used for, for our sick, homeless, poor, and needy brothers and sisters. Meron po tayong kumpisalang bayan sa so March 16, Sabado, pagkatapos po, 6 p.m. Mass. Sunday, regular confessions, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Dambana funds, ongoing projects, Tuloy-tuloy po ang paggawa natin sa mga facilities ng parokya. Ang 200-seater Assembly Formation Hall ay nangangailangan po ng roofing at ceiling materials, floor tiles, electrical installation para sa lights, ceiling fans, at sound system. Gayun din, ang restoration ng Senyor Nazareno ng OLSP. Inaayos po ngayon ang enkarna ng mukha at kamay isang bagong stainless na karosa, bagong krus, bagong damit, at metal, metal na koronang tinik at sinturon ng matandang imahen. Pakibigay po ang inyong donations at love offerings sa parish office. Bukas po ito from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. araw-araw at humingi po ng acknowledgement receipts. Pwede rin po magdeposito sa Metrobank account, Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, checking account, 2917-291-822-793 Pakisend sa messenger account ourladyofsoros.parish ang screenshot po na inyong deposit slips. Invitation to serve. Sa mga nais magsakristan, 
dapat po 10 years old pataas na kapag first communion na. Sa mga nais maging lectors at commentators, 16 years old pataas bihasa sa pagbabasa, pagbabasa sa English at Filipino. Sa mga nais maging ministers of Holy Communion, pakisubmit ang baptismal at confirmation certificates. Kung kasal na, pakisubmit ang certificate of marriage. At para sa lahat, makipag-ugnayan po sa parish office, pakiiwan ang buong pangalan at contact numbers. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga support. Message from Blessed James Alberione. He says to us, Lent, and especially the time that we are approaching, the Passion time, especially Holy Week, is a very propitious time to enter into ourselves and to stimulate us to trust, to love Jesus. Let us stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Naibigay na po ang pagbibindisyon. Humayo tayo ng mapayapa. Salamat, Salamat sa, Diyos. sa Diyos. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pare ng Society of St. Paul na nakasahin sa parokya. Mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish. Salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you. Sabi ni Kristo, hinirang ko kayo.